Hello guys and welcome to another video on how to create a module within the game called Sword Coast Legends and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a NPC so to do this we need to start by clicking on characters new character and as you can see here on the left hand side we have a preview of our character as uh, he she stands at the moment um, we can zoom in by using the middle mouse wheel and also zoom out we can also rotate around the character uh, 360 degrees by uh, left clicking on the mouse and moving the mouse left and right to have all views around our character and as you can see here on the right hand side we have an adventurer and also we have uh, a monsters uh, tab which I'll talk to you about in more detail uh, in a later video but for this tutorial I'm going to click on adventurer and here we have gender and we have the left and right arrows as usual which we can flick through the different choices so with gender we have male and female underneath that we have class so we've got rogue, wizard Paladin, Ranger, NPC, Fighter, Cleric, and back to Rogue again. So in this example I'm going to choose NPC. And underneath that we have Race and also Subrace. And again, by clicking the, the left and right arrows, we can change um, the race type and also for sub races it's the same um, we can left and right arrows to change the uh, the different sub races of a particular race so in this example I'm going to choose a half elf and again we have a background here at the bottom which will give the character um, bonuses um, but uh, as far as the players are concerned they won't be able to read uh, what the uh, the background of the character is and there's uh, quite a few different choices which you can again flick through by using the left and right arrows here and I'm just going to pick Noble for this particular character and once we're finished we can either click next down here or click appearance at the top down the toolbar and again we have loads of different options with regards to skin, hair etc and uh, what we can do we can hover our cursor over a particular colour and you'll see the model will change to that particular colour and then once we're happy with that particular colour we can just left click on it and you'll see the um, outline surround the particular colour that you've chosen you can also click on these left and right arrows that will change to the colour next door to the uh, colour that's been selected um, we then have complexion um, which the players won't really see because of the view that the game gives us um, as a player um, but for a design point of view you can change the complexion by clicking the left and right arrows here or sliding this uh, slider down the, the, the bar and again we got hair colour again we can select the hair colour and also the different hairstyles and there's a whole bunch of uh, detail to also select with regards to eyes, nose, cheeks and jaw, lips and ears so to select say eyes just click on this triangle symbol on the right hand side which expands all the choices that you have and again you can slide the uh, slider here to choose different colours and lid heights etc so your characters can be quite uh, customizable. Um, you can if you so wish or lazy maybe by clicking on the randomize button and this will change the whole look of the character some good stunners here by the looks of it and then once you're happy with the, the look then you can click on uh, equipment and here we can actually um, equip our character 
So we can give our character, say, um, a weapon by double left clicking on this list on the right hand side. And if we're not happy or we want them to be remained unarmed, we can right click on the weapon and left click on unequip. Um, we can also say equip um, a weapon again and right click and examine the weapon and it shows you like the cost etc um, and the damage etc of the, the weapon that you selected. Uh, we then got armor so we can then select what sort of cape we want the uh, character to have the uh, the cloth robes we've got boots hand wraps we've got a whole selection of uh, different items um, for the uh, the character to wear and once we're happy with the look we can then go to equipment colors and here we can actually change the um, the color of uh, say here the accessory color so this is the headband and the cloak uh, we can also change the type of material from silk to cotton to satin and then back to silk and you can see each time the material does change. Uh, we also have primary colors and again you can hover over the, the, the color to get a preview of what the color looks like and then you can then select it and again we have secondary colors to choose from as well and again material etc and then once we're happy with that we can go to summary here we can give the NPC a name we can give the character a, a title which will appear um, beneath the name of the players we can select the portrait of the character uh, the voice Hi. which I think at the time of recording I don't really sp <laughs> speak that much we can change the faction the um, alignment deity etc and again if you hover over each uh, type like faction for instance you get a small description of what neutral means um, in alignment etc and you, again you can change these left and right um, arrows and again you can get descriptions um, there's a history as well which you can um, you can change and write your own history for characters um, but again, uh, the players don't actually see this um, in-game at the moment. And then once you're happy with that, you can then click on the complete button. And as you can see here, here's our character we've just created. Um, so if we left click on her again, we can edit the character if we're not happy with the way she looks. Or we can actually delete the character. And once we're happy with that we can then click on close in the bottom right hand corner and the next thing to do we can actually place our character so go to the area that we want the character to, to be located in then we click on characters and here she is here Lady Moonfire so left click on her there and as you can see we at the character is now focused on um, our cursor and she's facing the uh, the tent there so what we want to do is get her to face the the fire campfire and then we can do that by clicking the the left and right arrow keys on our keyboard and once we're happy with the direction she's facing in we just left click and there she is and as you can see we still got her focused on our cursor and we can just right click and she disappears and there you go there's our um, character there um, and don't forget to uh, save your your module and uh, again as usual guys please like subscribe and comment and uh, see you next time thank you very much